This is the first meeting between the new U.S. administration and the new Israeli leader. Both military men, Ariel Sharon and Colin Powell, greeted each other warmly. But the relaxed atmosphere belies the tension that rages outside. The recently elected prime minister is the man who reignited the Palestinian intifada with his provocative visit to the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem. Since then, nearly 400 people have died. Powell pleaded for Israelis, Palestinians and all Middle East countries to make an all-out effort to stop the cycle of provocation and counter-provocation. This is the time for all leaders in the region to do everything possible to control passions, to speak out against activities that lend themselves to incitement of passions. Sharon agreed that the violence must end. And it should be very clear that it should be cessation of hostilities. That should be very, very clear. And I will conduct negotiations with the Palestinian Authority when we'll reach the point that the area will be calm. But he added a stark warning to the Palestinians. One thing should be clear. Israel will not be negotiating under pressure of terror and violence. Powell then visited the Palestinian leader, Yasser Arafat, telling him that it was a priority to get the West Bank closures lifted. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Arafat told Powell that he felt reassured that the Bush administration would maintain its commitment to the peace process that started with George Bush Sr. in Madrid and was continued by President Clinton. The challenge is how to get the process started. Who puts the first key in the door and starts to turn the locks? And that still is a difficult challenge, but one that I think uh, both uh, Prime Minister-elect Sharon and the chairman are dedicating to finding the answer for. Powell continues his tour with visits to Jordan and Kuwait. 